folks, Justin from InSync Marine here. Today I'm going to show you through one of the new fin seeker boats by Crownline, the 260 DC. This boat was designed with serious offshore fishing in mind, but with the ability to be used as a luxury family day cruiser. It's ideal for someone with waterfront access, or if you wanted to moor or dry stack your boat. So come with me and I'll take you on a tour through the Fin Seeker 260 DC. Fin Seeker boats are the console fishing boat line from Crownline. They are built and imported from Illinois in the USA and are some of the highest quality boats on the market today. It has a 39 degree bow entry and a sharp keel to cut through any chop while underway. And with the fast tab hull design, it gets up on the plane easily and is stable while at rest. The Fin Seeker 260 dual console is a perfect blend of safety, comfort, convenience and entertainment, all combined with hardcore fishing. Fuel capacity is 644 litres, length overall including the motors is 8.5 metres and the beam is 2.8 metres. It has integrated electro-hydraulic power steering and is powered by twin 300 horsepower Verados with joystick piloting. The Mercury 300 horsepower Verado is a 4.6 litre V8 and has DTS as standard. As long as service requirements are met, Mercury outboards have a maximum of six year warranty for non-commercial use. It also has auto glide trim tabs and underwater transom lighting for docking or attracting bait. In front of the motors, there's a large fender storage area with a drop down plank which you can walk on for access across the rear of the boat. Near the transom door, there is a remote for the audio system and a freshwater shower. Under floor, there are two large fish boxes that are plumbed with easy to reach switches for the macerators. The flooring is a teak look matting that clips in and can be easily removed for cleaning. The live bait tank is enormous. It has a viewing window and lighting to make it easy to see what bait you have left. And it's pressurized so the bait doesn't get knocked around too much while you're underway. Seating has been well thought out in the Fin Seeker 260 DC, with a rear stowaway bench and another one on the port side where you can easily sit five people. Or you can stow them all away for extra deck space while you're fishing. The cockpit galley has a sink and freshwater tap with another storage area for bait or ice. It also has a drawer, raw water deck wash, and a slide out fridge. Under the rear facing seat, there's another enormous ice box with lighting for fish or drinks. There are six tackle trays under the helm seats. And a rod storage locker under the floor. Passenger seat has bolsters for a higher seating position 
and flip down armrests on either side. And storage at the side for a phone or wallet. The door here leads down to the electric flush toilet, which has a sink and fresh water tap. And plenty of storage areas for toiletries. There is a bow close out door and the windows can be closed off to fully enclose the cockpit area if the weather turns. Behind the door stowage is another drawer and below that a rubbish bin. Coming up to the front bow seating area there's plenty of room to stretch out and a removable table for lunch or drinks on a nice day. More fold down armrests up here. And there's a USB port on both sides for phone charging. Storage is amazing in this boat and everything has been well planned out from the design team at Finseeker. It has an electric anchor winch, which also has a control from the bow. Both of the front seats have hinges and more ice boxes underneath. Under this seat, there's an even larger storage area where you can stow the table or the bunk infill and has access to behind the dash. The bunk infill adds more seating positions up front for those days that you have extra people out with you. And then one more ice box under the floor. So I'm sure that you can now see why this is the ultimate fishing slash entertaining boat. Under the driver's position, there's a multi-stage footrest so you can find the best driving position. All of the switches are LED backlit and labelled. And the master control for the wet sound stereo has Bluetooth connectivity. The displays are twin 12 inch Garmin's which have all engine data, maps and fish finder information that you need. The dual throttle digital handle is easy to reach and has engine sync, dock mode and trim control for both motors. and the joystick piloting control allows the captain to dock or manoeuvre in tight spaces. The captain's chair also has flip-up bolsters and armrests for a comfortable drive. It has a hatch underneath for some more storage. The hard top has an aluminium frame and a hatch for ventilation. There are water misters for those hot days and more speakers up top. So that's eight speakers in total and an amp so you can really pump those tunes. There's LED lighting all throughout and the rear sunshade is electric and extends all the way out to the back of the boat. Lastly, all round clears and a bow cover were added to fully enclose the boat. And there's a battery management charging system so you can plug it in while the boat is stored. If you have any questions about the video you've seen today or want to inquire about pricing, please give us a call on 43 244 300 or visit our website, insyncmarine.com.au.